hello ladies and gentlemen welcome back to my channel where we talk about all things rpg maker and if you are new welcome to my channel where we talk about all things rpg maker <laughs> today we'll be going over a time lapse of me working on survival island if you look on the background that's what we try to replicate so here we're doing the planning but before we get into that uh hopefully i could offer you guys some insights on some ideas on how to work on your own game and stuff like that but yeah make sure to uh comment subscribe make sure to turn on your bell notification icon and all that good stuff i'll also be doing the uh dawn haven key giveaway so whoever leaves the most comments in my video for the next week i will give you guys keys i'm giving away three you have to be subscribed you have to turn on your bell notifications and be active but yeah so we went over the devil the planning stage now we're working on the map this is the first rough draft of the map so now we're just walking around to see the scale of the map to see if it's big enough for what we need so again i'm going to talk over these parts because it's just me setting up the database deleting all the stuff that we don't need uh so the game i had a, an arcade game in mind where it was like minecraft where you could build and like you could craft like your own base and also craft items and stuff while also making it while also trying to make it arcade so you can so it's something that you could play quickly and try to get the highest score possible by adding in that crystal uh this is me just adding in assets and importing the scripts that i use the most for me personally any game i make i use an abs so this is me importing the alpha abs which is the first time i've ever done so with rpg maker mz so i'm struggling working in all the pieces because i'm missing some image files and stuff like that so just importing all that over so again we're just trying to make sure that the, everything is working putting in the battle system still just setting up some more stuff but yeah you guys let me know if you enjoyed this type of video where i make a whole game and then go back and talk to you guys about what i'm doing exactly so i'm making the map while i'm still setting up the actual abs uh changing the buttons around making sure that they're the buttons that i like because i think it was f and something else and i like using a s d because it's right next to each other so yeah we're also about to speed up the video so like i said most of this first early parts is just me setting up the scripts that we're going to use um so the major things i do won't be in this Part of the video again this is just a setup i have other videos coming out that i have to chop up and stuff like that but yeah so we're just testing out the different scripts that we're going to be using cutting out all the stuff we don't need and all the stuff we do need mm -mm -mm. checking the common events getting everything to work that's me testing out the enemies to see if they actually work reading a lot of documentations research not really researching just trying to get a hang of the system checking my live stream seeing why my enemies aren't doing what they're doing specifically all those type of stuff i think i believe i just changed some stuff around so i'm deleting all the i'm deciding which weapon types i'm going to have in the game and studying exactly what how they work and now i'm implementing that okay so this part is the first thing that we major thing that we're doing this is the day and night system that I'm scripting, not scripting, inventing myself. Normally I would find a, a script if this. Also for the day and night system, it's pretty much, um, I have a variable um, after every few seconds pass or every few frames pass, I change the variable to a higher number. And then when it gets to four, it resets back to zero. And then depending on what time it is, the weather changes. So it's not really complicated. You could pause the video if you want to copy that for one of your games. The weather's the same thing where I just have a random variable going. So it's a higher chance of there always being a sunny weather. And then it's just a, a slight chance of it being of the weather changing or stuff like that. But yeah, it's very simple systems. You don't need a whole script to run them. You just need a couple of event variables. So we're going again, setting up the stats. There's not going to be any step progression besides you just finding the armors and the weapon in the game. So all the enemies and stuff will stay static. What am I doing here? Oh, this is me just setting up the making it so the enemies can spawn into the game. Me just writing some custom JavaScript. Yeah, this is pretty much me setting up the enemies spawning in a timer. And also getting progressively, not progressively stronger, but spawn faster as time goes.
Also, I'm not really that versed in JavaScript. I know Ruby and I know C Sharp and I know a tiny bit of JavaScript. So if you see me struggling, that's why. Also, don't mind that. You don't need to know what that is. All right, so that's just me checking if my enemies are spawning, how they're supposed to be spawning. Now I'm marking where they're going to actually spawn at. I didn't want them to spawn inside the map. I wanted them to spawn on the edge and then encroach inside like they're invading type of shit stuff. But yeah, and then we're again setting up some more common events, referencing the just getting the size of the uh, map, seeing lowering the enemy spawn, seeing how testing out how fast or how slow the enemies are spawning, see if we need to make any tweaks. It's all about balancing when you're making the game. It's a lot of testing. So as you can see, I'm just literally walking around trying to make sure those enemies are spawning in how they're supposed to spawn in. I'm, add, I'm adding a new enemy type. And this is my map where I spawned all the enemies in from. And I've discussed that in my other games. The best way to have a lot of stuff on the map is to have them spawn in and also get rid of them as you no longer need them. That way your maps will stay clear. Me making some weapons, well, states weapons and stuff like that. Again, I didn't want the game to be too complicated or have too much depth to it. I just wanted it to be something you could pick up, play, maybe in 30 minutes to an hour, you you beat it. In some cases, you could even beat it in 10 minutes. Mm, 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 mm. This is me just adding the different weapon types. I decided to on four different materials. So you have your wood, iron, glint, and the uh, uh, vexillion or something like that. This is me changing the arrows so you could use your projectiles. I couldn't find any custom arrows. Couldn't find any custom arrows, so I made some myself. Also, I couldn't figure out how to actually make it so the arrows used ammo but besides that the videos coming to an end part two will be up soon not today maybe not tomorrow but soon make sure to hit that subscribe button to be updated when i do release a new video and the bell notification icon to be notified when i actually release that new video and again leave a comment down below if you want a chance to win the key to dawn haven the more comments you leave the better you have to like the video you have to be a subscriber but besides that's pretty much it and this is me still trying to figure out those arrows and how to make them use ammo all the videos and every time i looked it up it came back to my videos and stuff and i was frustrated but yeah make sure you subscribe guys subscribe my patreon the link is down below subscribe subscribe to my channel it helps me out a lot subscribe can't say it more but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I definitely enjoy making these videos for you guys. Join the Discord too. The link is down below. Everything is down below, guys. Woo! Have a good day. Still got a few seconds. I don't know, really know what to say anymore, but hey, you guys are cool.